right, we're working on painting up the sidecar here. Uh, we got the dent repaired. Uh, it's all primed and ready to go, and we smoothed out a few other areas. This is not a perfect preparation. We've sanded it down, a wet sand down to 400 grit. It's smooth. Gonna wipe it down with denatured alcohol just before we paint. And like I said, it's not perfect. Like here's a scratch here. You can still kind of see telegraphing through. I'm just not going to worry about uh, to that extent because you got to remember what I'm trading for. There was a huge dent here, the, the gouges, uh, plus we got like, you know, I'm not painting the back back here and we've still got these uh, blisters. I'd have to strip all this off, which I might do at a future date, but not right now. Right now I'm just going to kind of uh, drop some touch up in there and put the spare tire back on. But uh, the, the bottom we're going to undercoat with uh, a, I guess, a Raptor liner, whatever it's called, a bed liner material. And I'm going to do the inside too. We've already done most of the sanding with 80 grit there. But first thing I want to do is get this done. I'm also repainting the side plate since it was off. And we're working on the sidecar fender, which had a fair amount of... You know, rust and stuff on it. We're going to sand this down. All this has been done so far is degreased. And you can see, I just decided to do it. The only thing we're basically not painting is the fuel tank, the front, and the rear fender on the bike itself. And those actually look pretty good. I can always, I've got plenty of paint, so I can always, you know, get adventurous and do this again in the future and finish it up. But my main thing was to get this sidecar done. Yeah, and I think we're going to be able to get that sprayed later today. Oh, we're making a little bit of progress. Been sanded on it by hand. Uh, started with 80 grit and went to 100. Working our way down. Still got a lot to do up here. You can still feel all this. And this right now we've smoothed out. A little bit of primer and a light sanding. I think will take care of that. All right. Did a little better. Sanded it down. Can't feel... The transitions anymore except in a few areas just uh, a little bit like right here i can miss that until i rinsed it off but i'll touch these little areas up get uh, some priming done on it and then go to finer grit sandpapers and keep sanding it down until it's smooth and ready to paint up underneath where i'm going to be putting the bed liner material uh, basically if I can't knock it loose with a scraper and 80 grit, uh, it's going to stay. I still got a little bit more work to do in here, but uh, cleaning it up and getting it ready for bed liner. Well, it's ready for green paint. It's been sanded down to 400, which is how I did the sidecar, and that's all I'm going to. And we'll see how it does. Well, we've been out here painting. Um, you know, not the most expensive gun in the world, and certainly not the most expensive paint. Probably the most ex uh, inexperienced uh, painter, so far as painting cars go. I don't think it looks too bad. Got a little bit more orange peel, and I cut the air back. Went with more coats to. Uh, build my color up and the orange peel seems to be better. This is the first one that I did and not really worried about it. Um, looks okay. And we're outside so we're going to get little bits of debris or dirt or something from somewhere I'm sure. The car I did last, it looks pretty good. It's, uh, it's got a, a bit of a texture to it but that's okay. I mean, that not look too bad. As I can tell on the color match, it looks real good because this was originally green and I couldn't really tell the difference when I was laying color down between the two. Of course, when it dries is the real measure. That's when it tells you what it's going to look like. But uh, So far, it looks good. Started with about this much paint in the hopper. 
and I think I still got enough to do another couple of fenders. Wow, this stuff goes a long way. And I feel like I've actually put a little bit too much on. Now this stuff says it has a four hour pot life. So I'll stir it back up in the thing here. I'm going to give this a uh, check the can. I think it said 30 minutes. Maybe we already got a fly coming over here. So I, what I'm thinking is that in 30 minutes, I'm just going to give it a second light coat and call that it. Yeah.